up, YouTube? It's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. I hope everybody's doing phenomenally well. It is Saturday for you guys. It's actually Monday night for me. Came home to a huge disappointment, guys. We're going to get into that a little bit later. We'll be pulling some eggs, uh, which is also kind of disappointing. But we it's not a good day here at Blue Line Morphs. We're going to keep the show on the road. We'll talk about it in a second, guys. I hope you've been enjoying all the content. Everybody that signed up for the Patreon so far, really appreciate it. We're definitely building a nice little community there. I'm really happy with that, guys. Moving along, doing my things. If you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out. Um, been really enjoying making like mini videos, like kind of like how I do the, the vlogs here, and I kind of update everybody what's going on Blue Line Morphs. Over there, I kind of do small little mini videos, three to five times a week, plus a big video, and I kind of give inside of things as they happen like real-time youtube videos but on patreon really happy so far guys a lot of stuff going on over here today like i said a very disappointing day no cameraman again today i'm gonna do this by myself i apologize i actually recently convinced michelle uh to kind of film for me we're gonna teach her how to film um i think what she really wants is a ring i think she can do anything she can to get that ring and while that's happening i'm gonna do everything i can to exploit that so with that being said guys we're pulling a clutch today we're talking about how that clutch is disappointing and how we have another really 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 disappointing situation going on but with that being said my ozzy pied boy did eat today for the first time in seven months pretty happy with that Decent size ASF. And then my high OD yellow belly fire clown girl has been hammering ASFs. Been trying to get her eating Norwegian rats, not having it. And she took five ASFs this week. So I'm really happy about that, guys. So we're gonna get this this we're gonna get this show on the road. That keyhole clutch, which you're actually kind of find out it's actually called circus. We'll get into that. We'll talk about that another time. But we have another clutch we're pulling today from that, okay? Now obviously we kind of figured out what was in that female from the first keyhole clutch we pulled last week. And we're gonna talk about that. We were completely wrong about her, but we kind of gotta figure it out. I'm just waiting for them to shut out to get the final stamp of approval that we are right. But that being said, we did pair this keyhole, this circus clown, this crater clown, whatever you want to call him. Oh, come here, buddy. Whatever you want to call him. Really cool looking gene. Really excited to kind of work this project, trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, try to show him off to you guys as much as I can. He's not, he's pretty shy, okay? You see, the, see the dorsal, the head stamp, sick. Can you see the head stamp? Where's his head? There he is. There's my buddy. Come on, bud. Don't do this to me. I don't, I don't know how to edit. Don't do this. All right, really cool looking animal. And we paired him up with my OD Fire Girl. You guys remember way back in the day, two years ago, I actually picked her up as a, uh, as a proven breeder. And the guy sent her to Brooklyn instead of sending her to me. Remember that? I was pissed. I took a day off to do it. I had to drive into Brooklyn anyway. Yeah, it sucked. So with that being said, she finally laid a clutch. And it was with this boy here, big old D-Fire girl. And the reason why I'm really happy with that is this clutch a little hard IDing what is actually a keyhole without clown. And I'm hoping with this clutch, it'll be less genes involved. That way we can kind of determine which one actually has keyhole. Definitely stay tuned to the end, guys, because I have a huge disappointing news to tell you. Really upset about this. Really fucking sucks. Before we do that, let's pull this clutch real quick. Let me let me get you guys. No, I, I can probably woo, we'll do this live action here. Hopefully Michelle turns into a decent. We're doing okay? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing this quick, guys. I definitely want to talk about why I'm kind of really bummed out today. But the show goes on. It kind of is what it is, man. This is part of the process. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's pull these eggs real quick. Let's get, I don't think she's a first time mom. Again, I bought her, oh, no, no. No, no, honey. Again, she's a proven breeder. Pretty sure she's done. We're gonna make sure, a little boob egg in there. No big deal. All right, let's take the care of it. Let me angle, angle this down for you guys. Do, 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 whoop. You guys see still? Hey, oh, hey, relax yourself. Can you see? I don't know, can you see it at the privacy screen? All right, so we'll pull her off real quick. I know, honey. Uh, look, now I'm all nervous. I don't know if somebody's got eggs in them or not. She actually feels she. No, we're good. She might have one more in her. I don't know anymore. I don't trust myself. I think we're good, though. We're good. Let's pull these eggs quickly. We'll keep this thing. We'll put her over here real quick. We'll keep this thing moving. Pretty happy. Get some eggs on the ground here. All right, so right off the bat, flavor of the week, little slug action. This sucks. Sick, right into the wall. All right, let's pull this. They are freshly laid, guys, so I'm gonna put them right in here like this. Almost like, wow, I don't think I pulled the clutch this fresh ever, to be honest with you. These are still like semi-soft, guys. Holy shit, big eggs, huh? Look at the size of these mamooks. 
Uh, a little boo bag here. Put the boo bag in the corner. Doesn't disrupt anybody else. Solid little clutch, guys. Only four eggs. I think she's got one more in her. I think I did it again. I think I prematurely pulled her, but she was cold around. I thought she was good. All right. I gotta start slowing down a little bit here. I'm getting above myself. I gotta start slowing down. Kind of look at the scenery a little bit, but no big deal. Uh, yeah, she's definitely got one in there still. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I did it again. God damn it, man. God damn it. Go ahead. Smoke me. Talk shit. I'm going to put her back. Hey, easy. I'm going to put her back in there so she can lay that last egg for me. And we'll pull that one. Let's check to see how she did, though, quick. Let me find this. And then we're going to talk about what I'm so disappointed about, guys. What kind of really sucks. We we'll definitely get into that. Let's check out. Oh, oh geez, Louise. All right. I, I mean, they're looking fantastic. I'll tell you that. Uh, boo bag is iffy at best. Okay. I'll say it's iffy at best. Really small veins right there. You guys see them like right here. These eggs are all looking really good. Monstrous eggs. These fucking dinosaur eggs. Holy shit. Cool. All right. All right, guys. So, whoop. put my, uh, put my stupid light back on. Four eggs, three eggs really, one boo bag not looking that good. She got one more in her. I did again, pulled a little early, no big deal. Um, to be honest with you, you're going to find out in a second. My head's kind of a little twisted here. So let me cover this up. Let me put them away. I'm going to pull you guys back out. Let me talk about exactly what is so disappointing today. And uh, just an overall shitty fucking day of Blue Line Morris. I mean, I don't know how else to put that, guys. Let me, let me put this up here. Let me take a little break, guys. I'm going to show you exactly why I'm bummed out. Um, but the show goes on. So give me one second. Put it in the incubator. And we'll talk about it. We're back at it with the selfie stick. Again, guys, I apologize. I like to do these videos a little better and hopefully get Michelle trained. Um, I have to pay her like 50 bucks a video or something. I don't know. I'll have to get her trained to try to do this. But let me talk about... Make the videos a little better. Somebody said you're taping. Let me talk about why I'm so disappointed. So I did pick up that big old pastel pie girl. Remember? It's like 3,700 grams. I was posting on Instagram. Blue underscore line. Underscore morphs. Talking about I can't wait to see how big or how many eggs this girl is going to give me. So let's find out exactly, right? We paired, them, paired her to my pastel ODYB fire leopard pie. Boy, should be a decent clutch financially, visually, for my projects, holdbacks, everything else. Let's talk about it. I walked in today. I was pretty excited about it. And this is what I came home to, guys. Um, not a good day here at Blue Line Morphs. All right. Um, picked it up from Anthony Reptile Great. Yo, bro. We got seven slugs here, guys. We slugged out completely. Um, really disappointed in that. It really, really sucks. I really expected big things out of this clutch, especially with her. Uh, even now, she's probably still 28, 2700 grams. This right here, though, is probably one of the most disappointing things I've had to deal with so far. Blue line morphs. She is actually empty. I would pray to God she'd kick the nice egg out, but that is not going to happen, guys. So that's where we're at. Um, that's what's so disappointing. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was very, very, very bummed out about this. Uh, really bummed out. But honestly, the show kind of goes on, right? We talked about this a million times. We make mistakes. We keep it moving. Uh, maybe not so much as that was my mistake, but it's still super disappointing. But that's kind of what happens when you breed these animals, all right? I mean, they are snakes. Things do go wrong. Mother nature is mother nature. It's just kind of the way it works. You have to be prepared for that. Um, was it my male? I don't know. The reason why I don't know, because he did produce a clutch for me this year. And also we have this girl right here who's good. Nice poopy. Who's going to go for me. She, her previous show is on the 30th. It is the 15th today. So she's going to go. And that was that's my Sterling Lesser Clown to that same male. So I'm curious to see uh, how she does. If she slugs out, then we know we got an issue with the male. If she has half half slugs, half you know good eggs, we know we got an issue with the male. I'm praying that maybe it was just a bad, bad batch or a bad couple locks uh, with that boy that caused that complete slug out. Not going to give up on them at a cost. We're going to get her back up to size. We're going to start feeding her. Get her back up to that 4,000 gram mark. We're going to get her over that 4,000 gram mark and pair them up again and give them another shot at the title. Uh, super disappointing, but thank God she's healthy. She's not egg bound. He's good. He just ate for the first time in seven months, even though he does not deserve it, especially with that clutch. But no. But either way, guys, listen, I appreciate you watching. Like I said, shit happens. Part of the process. Slugged out. That girl got a slug in a boo bag. Uh, Overall, over here today, 13 eggs on the ground, and I, I have three that are viable as of now. Really bad day. Kind of is what it is.
Hopefully she kicked out on the nice viable egg for me. I gotta stop pulling clutches too soon. Um, but either way, you guys, listen, I really appreciate you watching. Level of support. All my Patreon members, we're starting to give you guys shout outs. Special Ops crew, fucking awesome. Makes my day go by really quick. Love it. We're growing every day. I appreciate it, guys. We'll keep this thing moving. Um, yeah, until next time, guys, be safe. Please remember, watch your six. Oh, 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 oh,